Welcome to the award ceremony of the Spring 2021 Georgia Tech Capstone Design Expo. My name is Amit Jariwala, and I serve as the Director of Design and Innovation for the School of Mechanical Engineering. I'll be your host for the award ceremony for this evening, coming to you live right from the Flowers Invention Studio Makerspace at Georgia Tech. One of my favorite things about watching, hearing, and seeing so many Capstone presentations is that there are always too many for me to have one or just even a few favorites. There are so many good ideas on display. You know Georgia Tech students really do make a difference in the world, not just here on campus, but beyond. They create jobs by building incredible startups. They learn both about local and global challenges related to environmental sustainability solutions and actually create amazing solutions for those problems. And above all, they create an exciting new future. Like so many organizations, everyone on Georgia Tech's campus was pushed by COVID-19 to come up with new ways of doing things. Today is yet another day in the history of Georgia Tech doing greater things at a phenomenal scale. We utilized two of Georgia Tech's homegrown startups, Gatherly and Rocket Judge, to bring this expo to you. Our goal with the expo was to share groundbreaking ideas that you can learn about and then tell your friends, family, co-workers, and collaborators. We ask that you take this inspiration back home, to your school, to your organizations, and spread the word about what you have seen today as a way to remind yourself and inspire others that the future is indeed bright. Thank you for your time and participation. When posting on social media, make sure to use the hashtag GTExpo and tag us. Tonight, we had 971 students in 186 teams who participated from 14 different schools across four colleges at Georgia Tech. Before we move on to awards, there are a few key individuals that need to be recognized, without which this course and the expo would not have been possible. Let's recognize the faculty that have taught and mentors these teams, and the staff that ran the studios and the labs where students built these projects. Now, naturally, Capstone would not have been possible without the success and the support of our judges. We had close to 150 judges who participated. Uh, we also have incredible uh, industry support. Funding for the scores, facilities, and the prototypes has all been made possible thanks to the generous sponsorship of the Capstone Design Sponsors. As you might have noticed, several of our industry sponsors have not only provided funding, but also offered real-world design problems with project mentorships to many of the teams. As I mentioned earlier, thank you again to our judges. We had over 150 judges who attended the expo tonight from across the world, and they helped us evaluate the teams to determine the final winners. Thank you once again for sharing your time, expertise, and insights. All right, let's get started, shall we? Tonight, the best project within a school uh, and one interdisciplinary and best overall project awards will be presented. If your team ends up winning either of these awards, please go back to Gatherly and stay on floor 13 for an interview with the communications team. Now we'll begin with the school awards. Before we announce the best project from the school, we will share a brief congratulatory message from the respective school chairs. Steve Ruffin, I'm Associate Chair and Professor in the School of Aerospace Engineering here at Georgia Tech. Each year, our program in aerospace engineering trains many, many different students. We've got one of the largest aerospace engineering programs in the country, the undergraduate and graduate level, and very, very uh, well recognized for the quality of this program. What gives us great quality is, is the quality of our students. Each year, our students participate in uh, design projects that span the gamut of aerospace engineering. Some students work on fixed wing aircraft, others work on space systems that launch or operate in orbit or interplanetary environments, and others work on vertical lift systems. Each of these students has been involved in remarkable projects. Each year for the Capstone Design, Capstone Design Expo, we have students participating. This year in 2021, we have nine teams participating in the Capstone Design Expo. 
I've seen their work and it is absolutely phenomenal. Um, the, the work that they've put into this, the creativity of it is really second to none. And they're gonna make the graduate schools that they go to and the employers that they go to very, very proud of what they're able to do. I wish that we could give awards to all of these teams that have participated because they all really deserve it. But I do wanna take this time to say from the School of Aerospace Engineering and its leadership, congratulations to the winning team. Outstanding job and go Jackets. Hi, I'm Steve Ruffin. I'm a so Hi, everybody. I'm Julie Kim, and I'm the Associate Chair in the School of Architecture. I want to say congratulations to all of the teams today. And I want to thank all the students and the faculty for their full commitment and engagement and enthusiasm over the course of the year. It's been really rewarding to see the creativity unfold in all of the student projects and the way that each one of you has grappled with the, the questions at hand. Um, it's been a great year. It's been strange uh, for sure, but it has been really great. And so I just wanted to say congratulations to everybody again. Hi, everybody. Hercules, and I'm the chair of the Wallace H. Coulter Department of Biomedical Engineering at Georgia Tech and Emory. And I'm here to tell you how proud I am of the projects from our department here at the, the Capstone Expo. Our projects, our students have really combined yeah. science, engineering, and medicine to address some of the most important problems facing our country and our world today. These are problems that are related to understanding health and disease and making a difference in preventing and treating disease. I think that our projects, my own opinion, are among the best here because health and disease affect everyone, everyone's family, friends, and even every person themselves. So I wanna express my congratulations on the quality of these projects, the ambition, the effort that you've put into these projects, you should be proud. We are. Congratulations. Hi. I am Magnus Egerstedt, the Steve W. Chadick School Chair in the School of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Georgia Tech. And on behalf of the entire ECE family, its faculty, staff, students, and alumni, I want to congratulate all students participating in the Spring 2021 Capstone Design Expo. And of course, I want to give a particularly loud shout out to our ECE students participating in this event. And in fact, this event is always one of my favorite things that happen during the year with, with lots of energy and excitement and great ideas and creativity on display. In fact, it really focuses us on what truly we are about as a university. Because even though we're a sharp research university and we're incredibly proud of our research and our IP, the thing that matters the most to us that we are the most proud of are the students that graduate from our programs and that go out and make a difference in the world. And during the spring 2021 Capstone Design Expo, the value of a Georgia Tech degree in general and an ECE degree in particular is so clearly on display. And I gotta say, you have all done masterfully despite the pandemic. I am personally incredibly proud of how you have been able to deliver at such a high level despite these less than ideal circumstances. I also wanna take the opportunity to thank our judges and to congratulate the winning ECE team. And to all teams, congratulations. 
I am so impressed with all that you do. Hi everyone, I'm Edwin Romain and I'm the school chair of ISYE. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate this semester's senior design class on doing an amazing job despite extraordinary and challenging circumstances. I'm extremely proud of the resilience you've shown and how you've coped with the difficult situation. Fantastic job. Many of you are graduating this semester and I would like to also congratulate you as well as other graduating seniors on that achievement. You've reached a major milestone in your career and your life You've accomplished this despite the ongoing pandemic and the challenges that this has caused, both for your studies as well as in your personal life. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what the future will bring for all of you. Congratulations again. Please stay in touch and go Jackets. Uh, industrial design was involved fairly early on. We were the first school to joint venture with mechanical engineering on the capstone. It's really a, a part of our culture and something that our students have been involved in ever since the program was inception. I think one of the things that industrial design brings to the table that is maybe not emphasized as heavily in the engineering disciplines has to do with the notion of human-centered design and the specific needs of individuals and people. And I, I think our students bring uh, an interesting perspective to the table there in terms of how any of the products we develop relate and are important to people that they're designed to. Capstone design is the culmination of everything that our students have learned during the course of their studies and putting that into action to solve a real engineering problem, often a problem that a sponsoring industry is facing and would like to see a fresh eye address that problem or provide out of the box thinking. While design of a material or device has its own variables and bounds, often in real life, Societal happenings can introduce an additional constraint, a curveball, which alters the environment under which engineers have to now solve problems. For our students participating in the Capstone Expo, that is exactly what they have faced during the past year, different and unexpected constraints posed by the COVID environment. Yet, they persevered and took on that environment as part of that challenge to work on their projects. Maintaining physical distancing while still working together on their projects as a team, developing novel approaches, for example, for recycling paper or consumer plastics, or designing power devices for refugee camps, or contactless interfaces for robotic surgical drapes, or even testing of corrosion properties of aluminum alloys for marine applications all in the confines of limited one-to-one -one interaction. In addition to what we are seeing today as the successful culmination of the learning and implementation by our students through their capstone design projects, I'm also learning from them, learning how our students at the School of Material Science and Engineering have come together to successfully accomplish the goals of their project and find solutions to the problems they were addressing. I thank and congratulate our student teams, and I'm also thankful to the industry sponsors, as well as the faculty and staff who guided our students during these difficult times. Congratulations, students, for everything you have been able to accomplish and wish you all the very best. Hi, my name is Samuel Graham, and I'm the chair of the Woodruff School of Mechanical Engineering. 
I'd like to congratulate you on finishing yet again another difficult semester impacted by COVID-19. I'd also like to welcome you to the Spring Semester Capstone Design Expo. This has always been one of my favorite times of the year to have the opportunity to come by and see the innovative projects our students are working on, to also have the opportunity to chat with you about your futures and to learn a whole lot about what's been going on in, the, in our program. And so today is going to be great. I know that we have the best students on campus, so I also know that this expo is going to showcase many of the things that our students are known for, uh, the ingenuity, the creativity, and the hard work. And so once again, I'd like to say congratulations on everything that you've accomplished and go Jackets. Hey everyone, my name is Jason Freeman and I'm professor and chair of the School of Music at Georgia Tech. I want to congratulate all of this year's Capstone students. Capstone is one of the most challenging things that you do at Georgia Tech, and that's by design. It's one of the first times that we as faculty challenge you not only to solve a problem or do a task, but to define the problem for yourself. We challenge you to go out into the world, to go into your discipline, to figure out what the truly compelling problems are that uh, are facing your discipline, that are facing the stakeholders that you talk to, and to figure out how you can solve that problem in a way that's different from what anyone else has done before to truly have an impact. We then challenge you to design and develop and implement your, uh, your approach, to evaluate the work that you've done, and to share it back out to the world so that it will have an impact. This is a really big challenge at any time, which is why it's one of the culminating experiences of your undergraduate career at Tech. This year, of course, has been particularly challenging because in addition to all of these intellectual challenges, you've had to face logistical challenges, how to work together, how to access laboratories and equipment that you need, how to engage with stakeholders or human subjects for research. I'm so proud of all of you because you didn't just make it through all these challenges, both the intellectual and logistical ones, uh, but you thrived. You came out with work that is truly inspirational and impactful at the end. And so I'm thrilled to be celebrating uh, the results of your work with you at the Capstone Expo this year. Congratulations. Welcome to the Spring Georgia Tech Expo. My name is Stephen Bogalski, and I'm the chair of the Nuclear and Radiological Engineering Program at Georgia Tech. Thank you to the many students here today for your hard work that brought you to this point. Most of us first met in NRE 2120. It's incredible to see how you've mastered the concepts that we just first discussed many years ago. Thank you also to the Georgia Tech faculty for your mentoring and leadership for these fine students. I would also like to extend my appreciation to the families for the unwavering support you have given to the students here today. Capstone design is the culmination of skills learned over your Georgia Tech education. You have integrated nuclear theory with your ingenuity to produce your unique design. You utilize different codes to model your systems. This experience should be a building block for your future work in engineering. Congratulations on the many fine project presentations given here today. Many of you are graduating this semester and will be going on to careers in the nuclear industry. Some of you are continuing on to graduate school. To get to this point, I am sure that you had some bumps in the road as you journeyed through your education at Georgia Tech. You have likely been intimidated or overwhelmed at times with the many challenges you were given. However, you have overcome. Each of you have had to tackle hard problems, balance complicated schedules, and overcome the twists that life gives you. While your instruction at Georgia Tech is coming to an end, I hope you feel confident in your abilities and you're eager to take on the challenges ahead. Go Jackets.
Good afternoon. I'm Marilyn Brown, the interim chair of the School of Public Policy in the Ivan Allen College at Georgia Tech. On behalf of the school, I want to congratulate all of our capstone design participants and presenters. I'm consistently impressed by the creativity and the talent of our Georgia Tech public policy students. You know, without the effectively design and implementation of public and the talent of our Georgia engineering Tech public solutions policy students, by your you know, without the F campus might not be put to effective use. The value of your public policy degree cannot be exaggerated. And the training you've had in policy analytics will serve you so well. I wish that we were here in person, but I've been so impressed by how you've all responded with ingenuity during these difficult times. I commend you on your strides in developing modern solutions to societal problems as we've done here on campus. Your careers are all going to make such a difference. Finally, congratulations to our graduating class of 2021. Stay in touch and I look forward to reading about your future endeavors and achievements. All right, so that was a tie for the best team in public policy. And with that, just a quick reminder that if your team was announced as a winner here, please visit uh, Gatheredly on floor 13 for an interview and a group photo with the communication teams. And uh, we will announce the best interdisciplinary award and the uh, overall award shortly. Good afternoon, I'm Raheem Bia, Dean of the College of Engineering and Southern Company Chair. Let me start by congratulating all of our students that are participating in the Capstone Expo. Very excited to see your outstanding projects that are solving real world problems, including many that are simply ignoring disciplinary boundaries. The resilience and ingenuity that you've displayed over the past 13 months is simply phenomenal. Even in the midst of these storms, you all have thrived and are participating here today in this culminating event. Thank you for all of your hard work. We are so very proud of you. Also a sincere thanks to our sponsors and judges and faculty and staff members, essentially everyone that helped make this day possible. Hey everyone, this is the Provost, Steve McLaughlin. I just wanted to send along a short message of congratulations on everything that, that you've accomplished. Welcome to Capstone. Um, for many of you, this is coming to the end of your time at, at Tech. So congratulations for those that are, that are continuing. Keep going. Um, the last year or so has, of course, been a huge challenge for many people, especially for those of you uh, working, on, working on Capstone. So you have a lot to celebrate. Um, a lot to be thankful for, and congratulations uh, for getting to this this point. All the very best to you that are, are finishing up at, at Tech. Please stay in touch, and go Jackets. Well, that concludes our program. Thank you all for coming and congratulations to every student here tonight and all the winners. Good night and go Jackets.